A prompt is an input that you send to Klein so he can carry out the request on your behalf. Now, your use cases for a client might be different, but thankfully, Klein is equipped to handle all coding related tasks for you. A prompt would typically include a desired outcome that you would like to see in your code base. And once Klein receives your prompt, it will work with a large language model to generate code on your behalf. Prompts can vary in quality. Some are poorly written, while others are far more effective. For example, a badly written prompt can be vague like, make this app better, or just lack clear objectives like, this code just feels wrong, can you do something about this? Other examples include prompts that are just too broad like refactor the whole repository, or even ambiguous tasks like, it doesn't work, debug it. While Klein is capable of handling a wide range of prompts including a badly written ones, writing a well-crafted prompt will help you get more effective outcomes. There are different prompt techniques that could help you write more effective prompts. Zero-shot prompt, one-shot prompt, and chain of thought prompt. Zero -shot prompt means that you are asking client to carry out a task without giving any example. For instance, if you send a prompt to client that says, write me a React app for my e-commerce company. Now in this case, you are relying entirely on the large language models training, meaning that you're hoping the model already knows what React is, how to use React, and what typical e-commerce website might look like. Zero-shot prompting is certainly not a bad way to get things done. But in this case, choosing the right language model will certainly lead you to an improved result since its ability to get things done is entirely dependent on what the model has already learned during training. Now that we've covered zero-shot prompt, we might have already guessed what a one-shot prompt is. Essentially, a one-shot prompt is when you provide client with an example of a similar task to help better steer how to get the actual request done within the prompt. For example, within the prompt, you might say, write me a helper function for a simple addition and add the actual code that carries out the addition. And within the same prompt, you pend with a subsequent request that says, now write me a helper function for a simple division. Because you provided an example, of how an addition code might look like, Klein will naturally follow your prompt to get you a more consistent result for the division function that you have requested. When you're using Klein, one-shot prompt is often not necessary, especially when you're chatting back and forth with Klein. This is because as you're interacting with Klein, it'll already have explored your code base to provide relevant details in code that essentially serves as the same purpose as one-shot prompt or even few-shot prompts where multiple examples are given. Finally, we have chain of thought prompt, which is a technique that can be useful for specific tasks like debugging, bug fixes, or even refactoring. For example, instead of prompting client to say, fix this bug, you might instead prompt client with something like this. This function throws a null pointer exception that needs to be fixed. First, identify the build log to confirm compile warnings, then check for any runtime errors in the terminal, and then identify the source code and all its dependencies for mishandled variables, and finally, attempt to fix the bug after reviewing the documentation. Essentially, you're providing client a sequential steps, or in this case, a chain of thought in how you want Klein to handle a bug fix. Understanding prompt techniques can improve your experience with Klein by helping you anticipate how your prompt will be interpreted by Klein. Also, depending on what prompt technique you end up using, knowing more about the model's capabilities and what context to provide can help you get a much better and consistent result using Klein.